Hey, what's going on guys? Andy Brew here and today I am bringing you a review of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Sekiro. Whatever. Yeah, so I had a friend recommend this game to me actually. Uh, I had no idea about this game. I knew nothing about it. Zilch, nada, nothing. Um, I saw, I think, one trailer. I don't really remember what was in the trailer. I just remember I saw a trailer for uh, Sekiro, Sekiro, whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, my, my buddy Cody recommended it to me and, and made me play it and I'm so glad that he did because honestly this game in my opinion has potential to be game of the year it, it really does um and I'm gonna go into why I thought this game was super amazing in in a second but yeah this game I feel like depending on the other games that come out this year uh it has potential it does to be game of the year um and this was my first From Software game that I've ever played, so my my opinion might not be as, you know, like, valid, because, you know, I, I didn't play Dark Souls, I never played Bloodborne or Neo, um, but I am planning on playing Dark Souls, by the way, wink wink, uh, in the future, but... Um, yeah, I, it's my first From Software game, and I thought I was really nervous going into it because I know From Software games are pretty challenging, but, and yeah, and this game was very challenging, but I loved it. And I'm gonna be honest, I really don't have a lot of bad things at all to say about this game. I can, I, like, I tried actually thinking of cons of this game, but I really couldn't think of any. There's one that I have, but I'll get to it later. Uh, and yeah, um, so yeah, we're just gonna, we're actually gonna start now, so here we go. One thing that I loved about Sekiro a lot was that it was very challenging. I've been I've been very hungry f uh, lately for a game that was really gonna push uh, push me to my limits and, and really challenge me, and this game, this game definitely did that. There were so many unique, bosses and just regular enemies like the the regular like grunt like enemies it, in itself were were challenging and the bosses were whew. i mean they were just so cool like every every enemy in this game that that you encounter it it, it gave you a run for your money if you were especially if you weren't careful like i was in, in certain times the combat 10 out of 10 i I love the combat in this game so much, and I and I will say there, you know, whenever you're just using regular attacks with your sword, it's not very flashy. You know, you don't can't really do any sick combos, but um, but you do get to learn like skills and different moves throughout the game that you can use at certain times, and like uh, you can. Also, you'll get the Mortal Blade, which you can do stuff with throughout the game, and prosthetics! Oh my goodness, prosthetics! Prosthetics were amazing! I, every prosthetic was super unique, uh, every, you know, there were a lot of situations in terms of, like, boss fights, where I had to, I had to have a certain perspective, uh, I can't tell words. There were certain times in certain boss fights where I had to have a certain prosthetic equipped in order to efficiently defeat that boss. And uh, yeah, just um, I did like the spirit emblem system a lot, you know, just because, you know, you're not so you're not spamming prosthetics all the time. Uh, so really, yeah, you really have to use your prosthetics wisely and you have to know when to use them and which ones to use at certain times. So yeah, the prosthetics were fine touch very very awesome very cool and speaking of like the combat and the bosses what i i thought was super cool was you know you had to work to defeat every single boss like you really had to work you really had to find a strategy for each boss in this game and uh I, the, the the deflect system was was really cool you know do you you can go for the strategy of uh just deflecting everything getting their posture up and then dealing a death blow or uh stealth was a big aspect of this game there was uh, many instances where i had the uh, i uh, i tried this i stealth killed i didn't stealth kill i i stealth attacked a boss and it actually took off a whole bar of health or took away a death blow uh, and that was, you know, that stealth is very useful in this game, and I, I'm glad that that was something that they actually encouraged, uh, you know, in terms of fighting enemies. Um, but yeah, the, uh, just the, um, I, I drew a blank. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Um, yeah, the bosses. So you have to, you have to work to defeat each one, whether, you know, you're, you're getting its posture all the way up to deal that death blow or you're slowly chipping away at its vitality. Uh, yeah, each boss, you had to, you had to work for it. And 
I will say probably especially like just like the big like the guardian ape the demon of hatred uh, even uh, Sword Saint Ishin at the end uh, the satisfaction that you feel when you kill a boss it, it's like I feel like I'm on top of the world like I it, I really do it's it's the best it is the best feeling and um, you know, I'm sure if, cause I haven't played Dark Souls, I'm assuming it's probably the same way in Dark Souls, uh, you know, that satisfaction, uh, uh of killing a boss that you've spent so long in, in trying to defeat, uh, yeah, I, I feel that, I feel that, and, yeah, I feel that. Something else that really kept me on my toes in this game is the fact that whenever, uh, you die, you actually have something to lose, so, uh, in Sekiro, whenever you die, you lose half of your Sen, and you also lose, I think, half of your progress to the next skill point. Uh, and yeah, it's, especially if you have a lot of money, you know, you like, and you go into a boss battle when you have no idea you're going into a boss battle. Yeah, the stakes are, are high. And going off of that, uh, the Dragon Rod system was very interesting. It, it, it was something, the Dragon Rod system is something I've never experienced in any video game the fact that you know when you die and you come back to life you're actually you're the source of life that you're drawing from to resurrect yourself is coming from the, uh, the life source of all the other npcs and, and other people in the world uh that you're that you're in and um it'll get to the point where like if you keep dying and dying and dying you're gonna eventually people are going to get sick of dragon rot and they're going to have this disease and then if you if you i guess go too long without and this hasn't happened to me yet but uh, before but if you go too long without curing the the dragon rot disease then the npcs can actually die in the game so um and there's only like very few dragon droplets uh to use to cure the dragon rot by the way the, uh, the items in the game items be careful with your items, please be careful with your items because they will run out if you're not careful and you really need to use them wisely for sure. Uh, but yeah, the the, uh, the Dragon Rod system was, was interesting. I liked it a lot. The fact that, you know, you're not just losing money and experience when, when you die, but you're also risking killing people in the world you know so uh, that was cool so moving on to the story i i like the story i did i i wasn't super attached to the characters uh in the story uh but i, I really liked it the english voice acting was actually surprisingly i thought it was really good i liked it a lot um definitely in my second playthrough i'm gonna definitely play it subbed because i want the all natural experience of of this game uh but yeah the story was good um the lore was definitely interesting, uh, very, very interesting, especially, um, you know, there's like certain bosses, whenever you defeat bosses and stuff, you know, you'll get uh, like the battle memories and they'll tell you more about them. So the, the first two that come to my mind are uh, the Guardian Ape and the Armor Knight uh, boss. When, you know, you kill the Guardian Ape and then you kind of read about him and it's like, oh, he was actually just protecting this flower. I think for his his loved one, his wife, his wifey ape. <laughs> I, I, if, uh, I'm sorry if that that lore's shaky a little bit, but like you actually feel bad for uh, the enemies, the the bosses that you're fighting. And the armor knight, I remember it was something about uh, his son. It said something like he had like a sick son or something, and he was like fighting for his son. And it's like wow, like you actually feel bad whenever you know more about the enemies you're fighting and, and when you kill them. But yeah, the lore was interesting. The story was good. I will say the replayability rate on this game is very high. I'm definitely going to do a second playthrough, eh, probably a third and fourth playthrough on Twitch for sure. So make sure to go follow me on Twitch for that. Um, but yeah, because there's, there's multiple endings. Uh, I got one ending. I've got three more to do and I got to play through the game. A few more times to get those endings and so i actually am very i'm really looking forward to playing playing through those games again there's not really a lot of games anymore that i would i would replay again uh but this one for sure uh i would 
hundred percent. I'm I'm going I'm gonna I'm gonna replay it again. So the replayability rate is definitely very high for me on this game. There's lots of hidden areas in the game. Uh, the map, you know, it wasn't like open world, but it was the the whole thing was like connected. So the map exploring was was a very fun part of this game, and I'm sure there's so much that I still haven't even. I haven't even found it because if, if if you watch my playthrough, you know I I do like to spend a lot of time exploring and getting items, and you know I want to get all every item that I can because items, especially in Sekiro, are very important and useful. Um, and yeah, and also you know even if you think even if you thought like the game was too easy, which I don't know how you could unless you're you know a veteran from the get go, but if you thought it was too easy, you can also increase the difficulty by uh, going to the, uh, the demon bell, I think, in the game. I think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry. It's been, like, a week and a half since I finished Sekiro, so I get a little shaky on some stuff. But, yeah, you can, you can make it harder. Uh, and then I, uh, yeah, I also read, uh, online in New Game Plus, there's a way to make it even harder, so I haven't experienced that yet. But, yeah. This game was a ton of fun, and it was incredible, and I, uh, I don't have a lot of bad things to say about it, but I will say this, uh, the one thing that, uh, I wish was a little bit different was, you know, you have all these unique bosses in the game, but some of the, bo some of the bosses definitely repeat themselves, so, um, for example, I think it was the, the, sh the Shadow Hunter, uh, he's the guy with, like, the purple... Um, like, and, you know, yeah, something like that. He, he was there a couple of times. Uh, the snake eyes, dudes with the guns, you, you know, you know who I'm talking about. You know, there were, there were bosses in the games, in the game that, uh, definitely, I feel like they could have, they could have made each mini boss unique. Uh, oh, the Shikman Warrior, that's another one. You had to fight the Shikman Warrior like four or five times. Um, I don't even know if I said that right. I probably didn't because... You know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, there was... Yeah, that's, like, the only thing, is, like, just a bigger variety of uh, mini-bosses. Because all the bosses were great, besides the fact that you had to fight the Guardian Ape twice. Oh, my goodness. But, I mean, that was... You know, it was different the second time. But, yeah, that's probably the only, like, issue I had. And it's not even, like, a big one. Um, and I guess, too, like, some of the items are, like, kind of useless. And that's, like... That's kind of, you know, every game... You're just going to have items that you're really never going to use. And maybe that's just my personal opinion. But yeah, I didn't really have a lot of bad things to say about this game. And I definitely give this name... This name. Oh my goodness. I definitely give this game a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, and I truly do think it has potential to be game of the year depending on how these other games coming out are going to do and what's going to happen this year and, and stuff like that. But yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's up there for sure. Um... So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to throw a like and most importantly, subscribe to the channel for future content. Uh, I will be streaming a second playthrough on Twitch, so make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'll put that link in the description below. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. I will see you guys later.